I wanted to show you the squash that I grew last year. <laughs> All right, so here are some of my winter squash that I grew last year. I harvested these squash in August of last year, and we are coming on to the end of July here. So these squash are really about a year old and they are covered in dust because they've literally just been sitting in our garage all winter long and you can see that they're still perfectly fine I've got a few that are starting to shrivel up and I wanted to show you that so like this one you can see he's coming to the end of his lifespan he's getting kind of squishy and soft but I've got others that are still perfectly fine this guy is really hard still and he's going to be delicious and sweet these ones here are an acorn squash and this particular variety is called Thelma Sanders and I got this seed from Seed Savers Exchange. I will leave the link in the description for those. But I actually purchased those seeds specifically because they were described as being a very good keeper, better than sweet potatoes, and I can absolutely vouch for that. These things have kept all winter long. We are already into the next growing season. I've got I've got a Thelma Sanders acorn squash plant here growing that I had opened one of these up last year and got the seeds out, saved the seed, and look here, we've got it coming on again. I'm going to be picking these, you know, in a couple of months. So they've just done so good. I really recommend this variety. I mean, you can just see this plant looks very healthy. I haven't noticed any squash bugs on it yet. And these things are also said to be extremely productive, and that also was very true. We got so many of these squash last year, and I only planted, I think, four or five mounds of these, and oh, I don't know how many we got. I should have counted them, but we just got like a whole sled full of these Selma Sanders. This is a 85 to 90 day squash, so it will take 85 to 90 days for the seed to reach maturity and for you to be able to harvest your fruits. It's actually called Thelma Sanders because the seed originates from a woman named Thelma Sanders, um, and she lived in Missouri, which I like that too. That's close to home for us. We're in Kansas, so I like to grow varieties that, you know, are heirlooms from our local area. And the flavor is kind of a sweet chestnut flavor. I definitely favor the butternut, but they're both delicious. I recommend you grow more than one variety because sometimes, you, you know how gardening is, sometimes you get one crop that fails and one crop that just does really well. And so it's just good to have that diversity. And I definitely gr would recommend both of these squash varieties for your garden if you are looking for long-term storage for your winter squash. And the most important thing I can tell you, there's a lot of information out there about storing your winter squash. What, what I have found in my own experience is it's the curing process that really matters. So when I picked these, I made sure they were um, left outside I put them in our shed so a dry area where they weren't gonna get wet but I left them outside to cure for like two weeks I, it may have been a little bit longer that curing process that's really going to make these have a long shelf life Another great thing about the butternut variety, and these Thelma Sanders did good too, they're not as susceptible to being devoured and destroyed by squash bugs. So that's actually why I grow those, because we get squash bugs really bad here, and those seem to be able to survive and withstand the onslaught of those pests, and we're able to actually harvest our winter squash then. All right, guys, I hope you'll give these varieties a try. You can get them at Seed Savers Exchange, and we will see you in the next video.